How would you like some peanut butter with that jelly sandwich? Mother. Hey, oh, it's the Chris Card Show. Hey, oh, it's. This show is brought to you by. Hold up, wait. We don't have much time, guys. This motherfucker's got to get his sleep. That's right. He's got to go home and sleep. You got to do an oil gotta change. Sleep. You got two oil changes tomorrow. That's right. I got shit to do. No, you got oil changes to do. And I got to do shit, probably. <laughs> yeah? Probably. You didn't even give me ramen. I told you to give me ramen. That's because I ate dinner already before you asked me. You could have just brought it to me. Why am I going to stop and buy you ramen if I'm not getting it for myself? Why? I ain't your bitch. <laughs> well, <laughs> we should we should make a poll. 50-50. Ah, I see what you did there. Okay, 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 okay. Anyway, hello, Chicago. We've been doing interviews. No one else, just Chicago. Oh, yeah. Are we like, isolating the rest uh, of the world? <laughs> hello, world. We've been doing interviews. Man, we've been having fun. Man, we got another interview scheduled for next week. I'm excited to release that one. That one's from Web, and then we had the Major Resolve um, that has been out, and Minna Ora. Those are our most uh, recent ones, and I hope you enjoyed them as much as we enjoyed interviewing them. Yeah, it was a good time. Lots of laughs, lots of cries. Very fun. Yeah. Very interesting. Had a very uh had a very good time. Enjoyed it very much. There was the eclipse that came out a couple weeks ago. I didn't see shit. Do you you didn't see shit? I was sent out to Downers Grove, which no one's gonna remember know that's at, but it's out a little farther west from Chicago and it didn't even get dark. Yeah. There, there wasn't shit. Really? It did by me. Like the sunlight turned a little bit more orange. Yeah, it was like dark. That was about it. It was like dark but still bright out. It wasn't even really dark though where I was. It was just like it was bright out. Yeah. Just like orange. Yeah, people went crazy over it. They they were clapping and everything. I saw a bunch of people pointing their phones at the sun trying to take photos and I'm like, Yeah, that's a good way to burn your camera lens out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well there how was many, um, how many people you could have coming in saying, I need a new phone? <laughs> my son was supposed to have uh something at his school and I guess uh Amazon delayed the uh packages. Oh, because, for the sunglasses? Uh, yeah, but I, I guess there was a lot of... I had a coworker who ordered them, and they were like, your package is delayed. It'll be there at 8 p.m. the day of it. <laughs> <laughs> this shit happened at 3 p.m. Well, I heard there was, like, they had sunglasses out, <laughs> and a lot of them were not, like, were not They're not actually rated glasses, for, yeah. yeah. So people were burning the shit out of their eyes. Yeah. You can go blind staring at that fucking sun, especially you can. when you got the moon in front of it. Yeah. Moon, the, the moon, <laughs> the moon. <laughs> I um, so I was coming home from work today, and I felt really old. I mean, that's about right. I'm stopped at a red light. <laughs> There's a bunch of traffic. Thinking, what the fuck am I doing in my life? Right, and I look in the back in my rear view mirror, and I see a bunch of kids just. Jumping around, having a good time in their car, dancing, you know. Yeah, like we used to do yeah. when we were dumb kids. Yeah. yeah. And I literally said this in the rearview mirror, and I said, um, enjoy it, kids. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy every moment that you can. And, uh, you know, it made me sad. After I said that, I'm like, man, I feel old now. Like, I'm fucking depressed about, you know. The fact that you're not jumping out of your car anymore. The fact that I'm stuck in traffic and it's taking me a fucking hour. And they're having a blast they're, behind you. <laughs> <laughs> they're in traffic, too. Yeah, fucking uh, Tommy and Eddie back there are having a good time. <laughs> Tommy, Eddie. Tommy and Eddie. <laughs> I was like, man, I wish I could go back to those days. Yeah, it'd be nice, but there's no rewind. There there's is no a machine. good quote that I always uh, talk about from the office, and um, 
Ed Helms said it. And uh, what was it? I wish I can go back. Wait. No, I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. Man, that holds strong to this day, eh? Hey, when we're even older, we're going to be like, remember when we did that podcast? That was the good old days. Yeah. When we're sitting in our fucking or maybe luxury we'll still chairs. be doing the podcast. Yeah. Taking shits on our royal shitters. Hanging out with Dave Grohl. Yeah. And his walker. Right. <laughs> I mean, he's older than us, so he might be in a walker by then. Yeah. So, you know, that's what we've been doing. Uh, we've we've got, uh, got tons of emails from bands sending us their uh, music. Um, Which is great. Yeah. Send us everything. It's pretty great. We've been doing videos on Instagram, uh, TikTok. Please try to include some info with those videos. Yes. Include info with the videos. Like or, who you are, the what the name music. of the band is, where you guys are from, how long you've been together, stuff yeah. like that. Be music. Helpful. We need the music, you know, but things like this. But, hey, you know, it's a great time. We're, 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 uh, that's what we're all about, man. We're trying to get independent music out. We're trying to get Dave Grohl to uh, sponsor us. So maybe we could get a little lift to I don't get these bands. To, I don't, we're not necessarily not trying to, get to us. sponsor us. Yeah. We're trying to get them to help promote the show. Yeah. Help us, Dave, girl. If you're listening to this, Davey, I'm telling you this. Got some words for you. Davey? Yeah. You guys that close? Yeah, we we go back. <laughs> but I got some the words for you. hasn't responded to you. <laughs> well, he, he's a little mad at me. Um, we had a little tiff. So What, like in that, like? Hey, it, 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 <laughs> it just we were still in high school. The night ended in VHS tapes on the floor and Monopoly in the ceiling. Let's just let's just say that. So fair enough. Uh, yeah. So hey, we have a regular show right now. What yeah. are we doing? You know, we're supposed to be introducing a band. That's right. We are supposed to be in, in, introducing the band. And let's. Uh, why don't we just get into that? Right. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into our band here tonight. This was sent to us. This is Third Wind, and it's called Polar Bear. Here on the Chris Court Show. Hey, the way that I look alone 
all you awesome listeners of the Chris Court Show. We've got some exciting news for you. Do you have a band or some amazing tunes you want the world to hear? Well, you're in luck, motherfuckers! We're on the lookout for French talent to feature an interview on our show. That's right. Just send your music and some info to chriscourtshow at gmail.com. And we'll play your music. Stop no fucking way! Share your music with us and let's mix magic together on the Chris Court Show. Third Wind Polar Bear. That was fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, groove in there. The bass. Was grooving. I liked it a lot. Um, I did find some information. This uh, this again was sent to us. I did find some information on Facebook. Um, it looks like they are from Michigan, and um, I think they. Do you know how many people are in the band? I I want to say there's four, five. Okay. Maybe I could be totally wrong. But um, there might be four. Yeah, there might be four. But you can check them out. They're on Apple Music. Um, if you want to check them out, they're also they also have music on YouTube. So go ahead and check them out. Um, let me see if they they have a link tree here. I don't know if that's working though. No, it doesn't look like it's working. But hey, you know what? Go check their music out. Um, they're from Michigan. Awesome. I grooved to it. I liked it. Uh, the bass was awesome in it. Um, I'd like to, they look like they're a little bit younger, so I'd like to see uh, more stuff that they do. And uh, A. Plus. Yeah, very good. Nice job, guys. What are you, their daddy? <laughs> nice job, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> you did good, son. I, I can't say they did a good job. I liked the track, it was cool. No, you can, but you just... What, well, fucker? Yeah, sorry. No. What do we pay you for around here? I know, right? All right, so... <clears throat> what are you doing over there? Making me all nervous. <laughs> I'm trying to buy tickets to a concert. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you really are, huh? <laughs> hey. Uh, did you hear that Billie Eilish, Nicki Minaj, John Bon Jovi, and 200 more artists are calling for protections against predatory use of AI. I knew this was going to happen. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I mean, AI is fun. It's cool, but it can also get dangerous. Yeah, for everything. Yeah. Um, So the group of artists released a letter acknowledging AI's enormous potential to advance human creativity, but also warning that powerful companies could use their original work to train artificial intelligence models and eventually replace human m- musicians altogether. I this is what we talked about a long time. I mean, everyone that right when AI started coming prevalent, you know, I, all of a sudden it was just like there was just been songs and, and they sound good. You know, you go on YouTube and you search like um, you know, uh, Beatles sing uh, fucking, uh, you know, WAP or something. You'll get a actually really good rendition of their voices that sound eerily, eerily cro- close to, you know, John Lennon's voice or Paul McCartney's voice. And it's insane the way that AI has has gotten to be that way. Yeah, I mean, some of the stuff that you've sent me, like... It's crazy what the people are doing with it, and it sounds so freaking real. You would think it was actually the right person doing it, but obviously those songs are ridiculous. They would never have sang them. Yeah. Um, there there also was something else, the open AI, it's called, the creator of uh, ChatGPT. Um, and that's the AI thing that we use. We use it once in a while. Yeah. yeah do. G- GPT is a lot more powerful than what we use. We're just using the chat version of it. Yeah. They have, like, versions that can make photos for you and all sorts of crap. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Uh, They revealed the development of a new AI tool that is able to generate a realistic clone of someone's voice from a 15-second audio clip. So 
that and I've seen like so you can actually record your voice and let's say you wanted to sing fucking um I don't know break stuff by Limp Bizkit it'll use your voice for that what's going on Nothing, nothing. I'll, I'll get this later. Yeah, you know what? You're you're ignoring. I was me trying this to take your. No, I'm not. I was I was listening to you the entire no, time. No, you kind of are responding. ignoring me. I was listening. You the kind entire of are ignoring me. And it's fired, fired. I don't get paid here. Goodbye. <laughs> Leave me to myself. Bye. Let me ponder if I want you back. I want you back. Anyway, so yeah, AI is coming uh, a long way, and it. Uh, I knew there was going to be. There's going to be laws. There's going to be copyright laws. There's going to there be. There has everything. to be because there's too much stuff it can do. It's it's scary, man. Yeah, it's scary the way AI can work. Speaking of AI, it's also powerful though. It's helpful, but it's got to be controlled. It's very helpful, yeah, but it's got to be controlled. It and it will be. I guarantee you, it will be. There's going to be something that comes out that you're not going to be. I mean, kids can write an essay now. Yeah. Essay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. They can write an essay now for school and tell Chat GPT, make this sound better. They can make it sound more original. Right. That's insane to me. Why the fuck didn't we have this when we were kids? Because we actually had to use our brains. Or just and take the time to sit there and write it. Or just use the smart kid's brains. Have some smart kid write it. Is yes. that what you did? <laughs> no, I uh, I never actually, you know, a lot of people, like a lot of kids would, like if we had to read books, they would buy like, or like the go, cliff notes. go get the cliff notes. Yeah. But I would never do that. I would actually read the whole book. Yeah. I think I bought the cliff notes one time. Yeah. Trying to cheat it. Because, like, so many other people are doing it. And you got caught? No, I, I got, like, a D on the test. <laughs> <laughs> so I stopped by the Cliff Notes and just kept reading the books. <laughs> I tried it, though. Some of them are, are uh, you know, culture <laughs> classics, so. You know. I, huh. stopped, I stopped getting the Cliff Notes, and I started getting those C's again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. I'm proud of you. If, All right, let's move on. <laughs> if your parents weren't proud of you, I'm proud of you, okay? Heinz is putting ketchup dispenser stations outside Chicago hot dog restaurants. Murder them. Um, <laughs> have you seen one? You work downtown. In I have not seen a Heinz dispenser, no. But the fact that they're going to put them outside of re- hot dog restaurants in Chicago, they need to be just... Someone needs to be slapped in the face. Yeah, that's like a fucking. It's a sin. You uh-huh. don't put ketchup on a hot dog. You're in Chicago, All right? You don't do that. And then you know, I'm sure people across the the country, across the world, want to know why. Why do you why do you not put ketchup on a hot dog? Well, it's just a Chicago tradition. Do you know why though? Like where the origin came from? I don't know the origin, but I do know that. <laughs> go go ahead and give this some origin origin first i want to say i do want to say I, i'm not gonna even google at it but i do want to say that the chicago cat or chicago hot dogs were made already with ketchup inside it that's correct oh is it yeah yeah you Reason- said you didn't know motherfucker no, no, i wasn't sure what your origin story was that's why i said i'm not sure if i know but i watched it was on like Discovery Channel or something years and years ago. I think I was in college when I was watching it. It was like how it's made. And they did a hot dogs edition, which is disgusting. Don't ever watch it. Yeah, I would never do that. <laughs> they show all the I would never eat a hot dog gr- again. They show all the parts getting ground nah, up and everything. I don't want to hear it. But they talked about in the final process, the final mixture, in the Midwest, like here in Chicago and other Midwest states, they put ketchup into the meat. Yeah, yeah. On the yeah. East Coast, they put mustard into the meat. And on the West Coast, they put barbecue sauce into the meat. So they don't put barbecue sauce on their hot dogs? I guess not. Or mustard? I don't know. But it's the, like, flavor of the hot dog. And Chicago hot dogs already have ketchup in them. Yeah. You don't need to put ketchup on them. Plus, if you get it Chicago style, it has tomatoes on it. What the fuck do you need ketchup for? It's got tomatoes. It's got salt. (laughs) I I guarantee you these signs are going to get vandalized. 
Oh, for sure. To Chicago. Someone's going to be running them over, kicking them down, whatever. <sighs> the ketchup relief stations will have a sign that reads Smack for Heinz. No, it'd be great. If it said smack for Heinz and when you smacked it, it smacked you back and said, no ketchup, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so there, Tim. The smackable billboard stations can be found at beef stands and other locations around the city starting April 2nd, which is already passed, obviously. So I have not seen one. If you see them, that's what it is. I want you to smack one for me. I'm going to run it over. <laughs> That's fucking insane, though. I, you know, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, if you go to a hot dog place, they do have ketchup because they usually sell fries. So you don't need the ketchup dispenser outside. And most places sell Heinz ketchup. Yeah. So what's the whole point of this whole thing? I, I, it's, it's them trying to be creative. And I get it. Like I do. Who's, who's going to go refill these things? And what happens in the summer when it gets hot and that ketchup starts getting nasty? Right. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Is it going to be refrigerated? Well, you don't have to refrigerate ketchup. You don't have to, but. Yeah. I don't know I if you knew that. Or I not. wouldn't want ketchup to be like 100 degrees. No. <laughs> it still can get gross. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> so Madonna awkwardly yells at fans mid concert. And that cringeworthy video. Did she awkwardly yell on purpose? Like, did she make it awkward on purpose? No, she did. Like, it. so she had an awkward interaction with a fan during, like, a recent performance. Um, and I think it, she was opening up about loss of her mother before before she was about to perform her next song. And then while she was singing, she was distracted by a fan in the audience that wasn't paying attention. And she got pissed. What were they doing instead of listening to her? I don't know. You want to hear? I got an audio clip. Let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. This is uh, Madonna getting angry at a fan during a concert. And then she was over here singing about uh, my mother and father and what it was like growing up without someone, how I had to give up my attachment, my sense of loss, and being a victim. I was looking at this guy over here. Put your lights on. Look at him. See, he's got, like, he's wearing, like, barely nothing. Is that Dion? But, no, him. The guy with the t-shirt and the chains. The guy that wants, looks like he wants to get fucked right now. Yeah, you. Damn. Oh, yeah. I just want to point out that while I was singing my heart out about the loss of my mother, he was looking around the crowd. I mean, I'm just pointing out that I fucking pay attention, okay? So you need to pay attention, young man. Yeah. What do you What do you think of that? I mean, yeah. If the artist sees someone in the crowd that's not really paying attention, I can understand them feeling a little hurt about it, especially when it's a heartfelt song, mm-hmm. and the person's obviously there for their concert. But here's the thing, though, and and but this is what time, I don't get. That guy paid his money. Let him do his own he thing. He paid his money, and you know what? He might not even like Madonna. Yeah. He might be there for his wife. At, he's just like, I don't give a fuck about this bitch. He might be there who forever open for Madonna. Huh? He might be there for who yeah, forever maybe, open for Madonna. Yeah. yeah, Who knows? But, like, okay, you have millions of people that are watching you. Not millions, thousands of people that are watching you. You can't control everyone no. that is there. Now, it's it's a bit different if you're going to see an artist that hasn't made like that, you know, I've, you know, not bigger artists, you know, smaller time venues. And then someone's like saying shit or whatever. Well, well here, here's a question. Here's a question. If you were the artist and you were singing a heartfelt song that meant a lot to you. Yeah. And you saw a, mem- a member of the audience just turn around and walk away. Yeah. Would that upset you? Um, I, it happens now. No, I'm saying that. Would it upset <laughs> you? I, I think if I was that big of an artist, I don't think so. Well, the, the thing I have to ask is, like, why do, would it upset you? What if they really have to take a shit? Right. They're not yeah. going to They're not gonna shit their pants there for Madonna. I'm sorry. Right. I, I, and when I do play out live now... There's a lot of times that people talk over me, like you know. I do. I, I yeah. I hear your big <laughs> ass laugh and mouth. 
<laughs> but like, you know, I'll be playing a heartfelt song and I'll hear people chattering and, um, you know, doing whatever. And like, it's part of the business, baby. Yeah. Like even you just got to realize you are that big, it's still part of the business. How long has she been doing this? It's part of the fucking business. And the thing is, while you were singing that song, I bet you 60% of the people in that crowd were talking to each other. Right. Not really listening to the song. They were just talking to each other. Yeah. Or they were drinking. And, it and might have been, just, they might have been talking to each other about you. Like, oh, listen, did you hear that last song? It was great. But they might be saying something like that. But like, they're talking. People talk. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Who the fuck are you, Madonna? I mean, <laughs> she was Madonna, but okay. How are you going to single out one fan that wasn't paying attention? Like, who, who cares? Fuck that. guy. I'm just sick of these. Fuck that guy. You got his money already. I'm sick of these musicians like getting butter. It, it's like the older they get, the there's angrier a, there's a they few, get. There's a few cases in these stories that were recent that were like, I can kind of understand why the artist got upset. How about Bon Jovi's? But at the same time, was it Bon Jovi? Bon Jovi? Was that Bon Jovi? And no, it wasn't Bon Jovi. It was. Uh, John Mellencamp. Yeah. See, when he first started his little rant, I was like, yeah, get him, John. But that's how I felt about it. Yeah. But then the, when he kept going, I was just like, oh, no. You need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> that, that guy there. I'm going to beat his ass after. And yeah, then, and then didn't, didn't he walk shit. out? He, didn't, he, walked, he started singing like part of his song really sloppily. His and then he walked Jack off and stage. Diane. And he said, yeah, fuck this. I'm not doing it. No yeah, that's fucked up because you just ruined it for everyone else there. Right. You want to call someone out? Cool, call them out. I was all good with that. Yeah. But then you ended the concert for everyone else who paid to be there. That's a little fucked up. Yeah. I mean, at least she didn't do that, but. I, I said, I'm, I, I'm on I, I'm on board with some of the, the, the things that artists have been doing, like these rants and stuff. But sometimes, too, it's like, come on. And like with this one with Madonna, like, yeah, he wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry it hurt your feelings, Madonna. But. How long have you been touring and doing these songs? I'm sure you've seen other people ignore you too. Yeah. What so the your, fuck do you care? Your team, Maddie. Maddie? That's what Madonna likes to be called. Madonna. Maddie. No, I'm not on her side with this. Oh, okay. You're not on team Maddie. No. Okay. Well, there it is. Um, if you've been to Vegas and you haven't seen it, the Beatles love, love. Cirque du Soleil is now closing as part of an ongoing changes at the Mirage and it'll be gone. It closes in the summer. So if you haven't seen it, which I know you haven't, right? Man, it's a good show. I've seen You've it. You've been to Vegas? Yeah. I, I, we, we went to Vegas and I seen this. It's fucking amazing. I haven't been to Vegas, like actually in Vegas doing anything since I was like 13. Oh, no. Like, the last time I was in Vegas, I was an adult, but I was at an airport making a oh, stop. Yeah. So we, <laughs> going somewhere me else. and Michelle were in Arizona, and uh, we drove to uh, Vegas. We stayed there for a couple of days, and we went to go no, see I'm the I'm sure Beatles. Vegas changed a ton since last time I've been there. Oh, probably, yeah. Like, I think the Flamingo got torn down finally, didn't it? I don't know. It was, like, the oldest I don't casino even know. still standing. In I it. wasn't a big fan of Vegas. I mean, it's all right. It's It's neat. It's neat to check out. Like, if you haven't been to Vegas, go check it out. It's cool. Yeah. But it's not for everyone. It's really not. I, Some I prefer, people love to go I there. I prefer constantly. New Orleans, yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm not a big gambler, though. Um. So, yeah, it is closing, Um. and it en- will end its run on July 7th. It's been going on for 18 years. Yeah, 18 Damn. fucking years. Um, See, it's legal. It's got to go to college now. The fuck? It's it's kind of it's kind of sad though because it was such a I actually went to this and I and I you know it was cool they had a Beatles little merch room and then I actually had tears in my eyes watching this I'm sure it's cool Yeah I, mean, I, I even for a non like hardcore Beatles fan I mean right, you I, are yeah. a hardcore Beatles fan but for a non hardcore Beatles fan it'd still be cool Yeah cuz you're going to know most of the songs and then you got a circus happening in front of you <laughs> Yeah, and these and these people just go crazy on the like trampoline or not trampolines, but you know what I mean. All that stuff. They got, they got trampolines. They, they got like friggin' water stuff. Sometimes they got like yeah. the trapeze stuff. Yeah, the trapeze. That's yeah. what I meant. Um, but yeah, so go check it out. I'm telling you, you will love it if you can get out there before uh, this closes. Jesus, go do yourself a favor before July seventh. Go check this out. You I'm sure. Jesus to go. Yes, Jesus, you go too. <laughs> 
You need to see this. You created these people. You need to see it. Um, but I'm sure now it's going to be fucking sold out all the time. Especially that they announced that they're closing, yeah. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's going to be another scary movie. Why? Um, the scary movie spoof movies. And it's in the works right now with Paramount. If you remember scary movie um, this that came back out in the early 2000s, that kind of like... I don't know. They were they were like kind of making fun of Scream and I know what you did last summer and uh yeah. things like that. They are and now, they were funny. They were good. Yeah. yeah, they were. Yeah, I think they were originally done with uh yeah, Keenan, right? Yeah. Was it Keenan? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I and if you don't know what it is, if you're younger or whatever, just don't know what it is. That's exactly what it is. It was just spoofs about the top horror movies that were going around then scream and like i said now i know what but you they, did did a, they did a nice job of it because it was a spoof but it was still kind of a scary movie yeah which is a nice thing to do with it so. but it was fucking it, i mean it's just like uh what's that like they had parts that scared you like that popped up and yeah jumped out at you and stuff like that but it was also freaking hilarious what was that one that um the zombie one with simon Pegg, i think his name is oh yeah yeah um that was a good one why can't I think of it? I forget what it was called. It was a spoof of 28 Days Later, but it wasn't a spoof of the name. It was a spoof of the movie. It was a, yeah. spoof, it was a spoof of the name. Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead, yeah. yeah. It, well, it was a spoof of Dawn of the Dead. They did a spoof for the name of From Dawn of the Dead, but the movie itself, like the storyline, was like a spoof of 28, 28 Days, Days later. later. Yeah. And that's another thing I'm excited about 28 years later. I heard that Charlie Hunnam, I think it, that's how you say his name, from Sons of Anarchy, is going to be in it. All right, cool. And obviously, I think Killian Murphy. I think he did say he was going to be in it. Yeah. I think so. So that will be fucking cool. I'm excited for that. Uh, let's take a gander here. Get that out of the way there. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know what it is. All right, bitch. Come on in. <laughs> this is the first time you're not going to interrupt you're me. You're announcing her? Yeah, that's right. Come on, bitch. Where are you at? Hey guys, what new albums are coming out these days? It's new releases time! These days, these days, new albums, new albums, new albums, new albums, new albums. April 19th, that is today. These albums are out right now. Go and check them out. Go and support your local record stores. We have a certain ratio. It all comes down to this. Big Brave, A Chaos of Flowers. Billy Morrison, The Morrison Project. Cloud Nothings, Final Summer. Local Natives, But I'll Wait for You. Lucy Rose, This Ain't the Way You Go Out. Melvin's, ooh, Tarantula Heart, Pearl Jam, oh, Dark Matter, Pillow Queens, Name Your Sorrow, T Bone Burnett, ooh, the other side, Taylor Swift, The Torture, Poets Department. When the hell did she have time to record an album? Well, she She's announced been running this, that Eras tour this whole time. <laughs> she announced this. I, I think it was a Super Bowl that, that she was making an album. That album, yeah. But she's been doing the, the damn Eras tour the entire time. I but she had time to do it. Maybe Shit. they do have recording studios on tour buses now. Yeah, and she probably got the money to afford a mobile studio. Oh so. yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, you could literally record on your fucking phone if you yeah, wanted to. You could. Anyway, those albums are out now. April nineteenth. Go and check them out. Taylor Swift is going to be a big one. I know that for sure. But I'm excited about the Melvins. If that is the Melvins. Um, Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam would be good. T-Bone Burnett. You know, I'm excited for that. So I'm going to go check them out. I'm go excited. to your local records shop. I'm excited. Excited. I'm excited. Local records. Put your hand in the air. Wave around like you just don't care. Oi! Oi! <laughs> I was going to say break your wrist. Oh, don't. <laughs> yeah, well. I know this happened a couple weeks ago, but O.J. Simpson is dead. Oh, 
died of cancer, and he's gone. So I guess uh, Nicole's murder will never get caught. Well, he was caught by the devil. I guess so. The devil got him. He was 76 years old. Do you think that tiny little glove on his hand made him get cancer? There was a video that I seen <laughs> of like him getting an autopsy. And then it was kind of funny. It was they like, found the other glove? <laughs> no, 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 no. I forgot. I forget exactly what it was, but he was putting on a glove to like cut him open. And he's like, oh, the glove don't fit, but that's okay. <laughs> it was actually pretty good, but um, yeah, OJ Simpson dead. And if you don't know who OJ Simpson is, Google it. And he died with $114 million in debt to Ron Goldman's family. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to pay them now? Well, the, his estate. What a state. He was $114 million in debt. <laughs> that don't even matter. Who was? Do you? Well, his lawyer was, uh, what the fuck is their name? The Kardashians' father. Bruce Jenner? No. <laughs> no, motherfucker. <laughs> Who the fuck was it? Uh, let me, I got to Google this. Um, The Kardashians... Daddy. Robert, Robert George, George Kardashian. Kardashian, yeah. That was uh, OJ's um, defense attorney. And then he died. Actually, he died of esophageal cancer, what my dad passed away from. Oh. Yeah. Do you think OJ finished paying him? He probably owes so much money to fucking everyone. Can you imagine if, like, you got caught, or, or no, I'm sorry, you killed someone and you got away with it fucking just done? You know that you got Something away. Something will catch up with you. What? Cancer. Okay. At 76? <laughs> That's true. It was he, a long time. He, he got away with it in the 90s. <laughs> He lived more than most people that do fucking God's work. That motherfucker was kicking. And now it finally caught up to him. Come on. There's a reason for him. Uh, it's because that new Bronco came out. Maybe. <laughs> you never know. I mean, I don't know. Shit. What do I know? I don't know. What do you know? Anyway, thank you guys for listening. If you have a band or you're just a musician yourself, you want to uh, hear your songs here on this uh, uh, little old podcast of ours, send your music to Chris Court Show at gmail.com. Check out our TikToks, our Instagram, our YouTubes. Check out our interview videos. We're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're everywhere, man. Just send them. And remember to send your biography. Send everything with it. That way we can get a clear glimpse of who, who you are, are and what, what you, you are. Do. Oh, you almost said what I said, but you didn't say. I said what you do. I'm going to put my mouth around it. Once again, thank you for listening to The Chris Court Show. Remember, if you have a band or business, or know someone that has a band or business, send all the info and MP3s to chriscourtshow at gmail.com. Chicken nuggets and cranberry sauce. The Chris Court Show.